Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Aggressive Mastery. This is Micah Burninghausen, Game Dev Micah on the social media platforms. And we're going through devlog number nine on uh, Speed Up. That's this one. Speed Up, Tear Up. All my destruction video games. Uh, briefly talk about what we're going to talk about. We did ragdolls. Let's show it off here. Oop, blew something up. So here's some, uh, some AI over here. When the bus gets close, now they turn into a generic ragdoll. And then that ragdoll, you can see, have bits that we go ahead and break up, so we go ahead and give the person, too, after they stop walking. Look at that. We've also improved physics. So you'll see that now we are actually colliding with the bus instead of doing, like, a push for a volume. So we, we do have a good, better physics going on. You'll see some one of the problems <laughs> is that... Uh, when you have async physics on right now, the new bug, which is a great bug, it's way better than what I was, uh, was going to have to fix before, it's just that the suspension doesn't settle very well when async's on. So if we just go ahead and disable the suspension, oh that's interesting, for like two seconds on spawn, that takes care of the hop. So that's what we'll do. But uh, we got ragdolls for all the people, so we can go ahead and go through groups of people here and just pile them up. They are getting stuck in the bus a little bit, but that's okay. We also got better physics. We have, uh, oh yeah, we can collapse buildings. Let's see. I wonder if that will uh, not do it. Let's see here. There you go. We start seeing how it's collapsing the building down. And this is the first proof of concept for collapsing buildings. What happens is, let's go inside this building over here, I'll show you is that inside every building, or most buildings anyway, are a uh, set of elevators and stairs. And once those elevators or stairs, that mesh, is woken up from its sleeping ISM, that triggers the building to collapse. So you can drive around inside a building, which we're gonna try and do here, and you can see now the walls are pushing away from the bus, or laying on top of the bus, instead of what they were doing before, which was like, basically it would be just sort of pushed away from the bus, but never impact it. Now they can lay on it. And that block inside here, that's kind of dark, is the stairwell. And we'll go drive through the stairwell and you'll see the building will start to collapse on us. We only have about five or 10 floors of every building loaded in from the save file that were generated previously. That save file system is working well. We do have one bug, which is that the, uh, the roofs and uh, roof equipment are not deleted. Uh, that's fine. I just gotta go delete them. I know how to do that. It's just something that I'm not doing on the loading from save where I, anyway, did on generation. Cool. So yeah, now we have it so that <clears throat> also vehicles break up. So you're ragdolling from the player characters or the uh, animated characters that puts them into sleeping static meshes on the ground. Let's break some more up here. And we do the same thing for vehicles too. So we'll run over these people. Oh, collapse another building by accident. So that building collapsed because we woke something up and it got fell over and hit the hit the elevator shaft in there. So you can see we can pretty easily collapse buildings. So I think what's gonna end up being the uh, motive of the game is to destroy the city. There's 600 buildings. We need about two hours of work. So I think the work's going to be, you know, how quickly can you completely level the entire island. And so that will mean we'll have to do saves, because, you know, if it takes you, say, two hours to do that, we we'll want to be saving it. So that's something we'll be working on next. So you can see here, the blast radius there, and these chunks of cars is what I was going to talk about. And here you can see cars are exploding. Where prior, they would turn into... Uh, uh, like matrix visual effects. And I'm turning away because what we have set up, well, is a very annoying camera for the car, is, is one thing we have set up. The other thing we have set up is that the matrix cars LOD from actors to static meshes or uh, graphic away when the camera's not looking at them. So we just took that trigger effect and instead we're spawning in a small. Uh, destroyed burned vehicle in place here and then we blow that up and that makes up these car chunks and that's how we get this destroyed background we got going on uh, the player bodies currently they'll stay forever those chunks stay forever same thing with the vehicle bodies 
Um, when we ragged all these vehicles, or when we built the vehicles or ragged all the players, or the uh, meshes here, it does delete the actors, so that keeps people from, or the AI from respawning the area. So that's good too. Um, so let's see, what else is there? Ragdolls, car gibbs, drop, exploding buildings, or dropping buildings. That looks pretty good. The next part I'd like to do, the thing I'd really like to do before um, releasing it, or, or you know, being there, is breaking up these big chunks in a building into smaller chunks. I might just break them up in the rebar and, and, and uh, brick parts very brute forcefully, rather than uh, very pretty, uh, by using like, uh, where I could use something like PCG, or to try or by hand fill in all these meshes with other meshes, or fracture it. I might just do something simple. All right, and so the steps now uh, that I want to do next is to get the menu there. So right now we have also, oh yeah, we put in a little UI. You can see that the, the UI is moved. The speedo used to be over on the left. We put it to the center. Also, there's a little dot in the middle of the UI, and you see a, a, a top time there. So basically, once we go over 50 miles an hour, we'll now get a alert. So let's go ahead and do that uh, right here. See, we're getting the, there you go, it says armed, and now if you drop below 50, it blows up. Um, we're going to pop out to this, this is going to be where we have our menu and show you the score of all the stuff that's been destroyed and so on, and let you pick uh, if you want to respawn in for arcade play and just start destroying the city, or maybe working towards that total city destruction, or if you want to do the, uh, the unlock play, which would be um, how long you can drive at certain speeds. Oh, well, this is cool. What we can see off in the far, far distance here, thanks to Nanite, is the destroyed buildings. Uh, if we were using something besides Nanite, it'd be really hard to do this. Because off in the distance are all those different meshes. The entire city's off in the distance. But with Unreal Engine 5's Nanite, it pops it all down into one generic draw call or one big mesh out there. Uh, every frame, so we can go ahead and destroy buildings at distance and not have to re- and then, well, the, the detail is regenerated at runtime for the distance LOD in there. It still is happening, it's just happening fast enough where, you know, you're not going to get that anywhere else. If you did an extremely small, limited amount of ISMs or, or meshes, then you could do it, but we have a, a very large amount and a lot of textures as well. Uh, so we spawn back out the bridge, we'll show you the UI again. You can see the times counting it. That will go into the save, but we have to get above the top time of 47 seconds for it to get saved as, as one of the, or well, as the top time. We're going to save like the top 10 of them or something like that. And we're gonna tier your times based on mileage. So you'll, or mile per hour. So part of the menu will be setting when the bomb will be armed on your vehicle and what vehicle you're driving. The default vehicle will be the bus. As you drive around, say for two minutes or three minutes at different speeds, like 30 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour, or 10 miles an hour, that will unlock the different vehicles in the, uh, in the world here for you to use as a vehicle. And I mean, the cop car is an example. I think it's going fast and it handles well. It's a lot smaller than a bus. So you'll have that option to use all these cars eventually as you unlock them from just playing the single player mode of uh, driving at certain speeds. We might also make a secondary way to unlock things, say uh, there's 600 buildings, you have to destroy the whole city, uh, different amounts of buildings being destroyed, or maybe different types of buildings being destroyed with unlocked cars too. Just some way that you get all the cars unlocked after you spend some time in here. Um, uh, it's so nice to have this thing starting to wrap up. Hey, thanks. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Hope you got had some fun with your family and got to eat a whole bunch or happy uh, food days, I've been calling it. Uh, I'm looking forward to get, I'd like to get this thing out this year, but then at the same time, you know, Christmas sales are pretty horrible for game dev and all that, so it might be like a January release instead, which is going to be slow too. I don't know, I'm just going to get it out there as soon as I can. We're getting really close here. Uh, we we're blowing up, all, we got all the cars blowing up, we got everything blowing up, everything sleeps the ISMs, it's running really well. My mom was playing it, we can play it on a controller, 
I'm gonna go ahead and make all the controls work on a controller. I'd like to make the UI uh, language free. You know, just use icons for everything if I can get away with it. That way it can be close to a barrier free game for you know controller and uh, and language. So that'd be sweet. As for the bodies getting gibbed, it's a uh, this is ultimately if the game doesn't sell very well or don't make any money off of it, this is a portfolio piece. So I think the ragdoll and the gibbs looks better as a portfolio piece than uh, having the uh, AI like stand up. I mean, we can do that, but I, I'm going to go ahead and put some special effects on the Gibbs and just do that too, because then we really kind of get everything, I think. If we break up the buildings, we add in some nice fire effect, water squirting around the buildings, and a whole bunch more dust. Sound, we don't have sound for the collapse right now. Basically, when a building collapses, I suspend all of the uh, decal generation by uh, pieces of the building and sound generation because there's just so many meshes. You know, we're doing a whole building here. It blows up. <laughs> and so we'll we'll figure out and just put in some ge a generic single sound for that and uh, do some other things just to make it a little more livelier and count. We'll start counting up the score. So we'll have a time maybe total damage, right? Like some of the games like uh, Oh, I've been just getting a ton of them lately. Uh, Midtown Madness. Uh, uh, let's see, I have a list probably here of different games that this matches. But that's all right. Long story short, thanks for tuning in. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Wanted to get this little update up here. What we're going to do is go through and do more breakup, get the trees to break up, light on fire, break up the buildings, sleep everything to ISMs. Get that menu in there, let you pick your different cars, and then save everything out so we can have the two play modes of destroy the entire city, level it, and then uh, also go f fast at different speeds. And what those will give you is a top time score, and also they'll unlock vehicles for you to play around and get scores with too. And that's the complete speed up game. Please like and subscribe, I'll see you soon. How do I stop this thing? There we go.